a look at our accommodation and what we have to offer. Um, it's a bit of a gloomy day, but that is Newcastle, unfortunately, so it's not always the best weather. But hopefully when you arrive, it'll be a bit nicer. Um, yeah, we'll just give it a few minutes because it's only two minutes too, so we'll wait and see if anybody else is joining. Um, hope you're all having a nice day. It was an early start for me this morning, but I'm excited to live my vlogger lifestyle and be able to show you all the, the accommodation we have. And um, the plan is to show you a standard ensuite room, as well as all our common spaces and everything we have around there. That's the plan anyway. Um, we would be showing studios and our different type of ensuite rooms. So the premium and the deluxe rooms, but unfortunately, they've actually sold out at the moment. So we only have the standard really to, to show. Um, but yes, it's a nice room. So hopefully it'll give you some idea of what to expect. You can see we've got some more people joining. So hello, if you've just joined, welcome to Verdi. We will be going around soon and showing you the accommodation in the rooms. Um, it won't be long now, I'm just checking the time there to see what we're on. The time does keep disappearing. Okay, I think we're about nine o'clock, so we'll get started. So this is the outside of our accommodation. So this is Verdi. Um, our little reception area is just through there, but we're actually in a really, really great location. So we're right next to St. James's Park, which is a famous football stadium here in Newcastle. So if you're a football fan, this might be the ideal location. Um, we're also really close to the Metro Links, so I'm going to turn you around so you can have a little look. Like I said, it's a gloomy day, so not the nicest weather, but just so you can see. So, right there is St. James's Park, which if you're a football fan, as I said, you might know. And round this corner, we also have the business school, so we're literally about one minute walk from the business school. I'm not gonna walk there now, but we're super close. Um, we're also really close to the Metro links. So we actually have a Metro called St. James's. So it's just down there again, about two minute walk, and you'll be able to get pretty much anywhere in the Northeast from there. You'll be able to travel around. Um, and actually going into town is still only about a five minute walk. So you don't have to everybody's keeping their own space sanitized and all of that. So it's a little bit different to normal, but hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea. Um, so as you go in, I'll show you, we have a fob system. So there we go, that's our little key machine there. So that's what you'll use in and around the building. You have a key fob, which will let you around. So we're just gonna buzz ourselves in there and go into reception. So as you go in, we do have hand sanitizer machines at the moment. So I'll turn you around so you can see that. Just click this. So we have got hand sanitizer there. And then as you go through, this gets you into our reception. So here it is. At the moment, we do have some signs due to the coronavirus out. We've got some leaflets over here where we advertise things going on in the building. And yeah, so this is our little reception space. So I've got my notes here, so if you see me looking down, that's what that is. But um, in reception, this is where you'll find all of us. So all the staff, we stay here. And um, so if you ever need us, you can pop down or you can send us an email or give us a call. And um, we also have our parcel system here. So we do get a, oh, sorry, I've heard there's poor network here, so I'll, I'll be a bit slower, sorry. But we do have um, parcels come in pretty much every day. So at the moment, again, that's a little bit different due to the coronavirus. So we're having to put in some extra safety measures. Um, but parcels get delivered here and you can pop into reception and we will give them to you. You do need to prove who you are before we give you your parcel so they're extra safe here. And we also have 24 hour security. so. If we aren't here, security are here, so no matter what, you're in safe hands. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of the reception. I'll turn the camera around. So here's the reception area. This is where 
I normally sit over here. And yes. So that's the reception. The only other thing really here to show you is we do have a meeting room, which comes in handy, you know, in exam season. So you can do some exam prep. It's a little bit of a quieter space. So we know that sometimes life's a bit hectic and you do need your own time to, to study your own space. So we do have that. At the moment, staff are using the room because of the virus, um, just to keep us all separate, but it's over here. So I'll quickly show you briefly just don't want to disturb the staff you know so this is the meeting room over here so we've got got jan over there our manager she's um she's just doing our work over there but this is the meeting room so i won't go in just to not disturb her but it gives you a little idea that that space is available and you can just book that online we have an appointed system so you can pretty much book any space out if you want it privately for yourself okay so next we will walk through to our second building. So the space is actually split into two blocks. So we have block A and block B. Reception is in block B and then block A is just across the courtyard. So we're going to walk past there now. This is what's quite nice about 30 is that we do have this little courtyard area. Um, so it's really nice, especially when it's nice weather. I know that's not quite the case today, but it's nice when it's sunny, you can sit outside, have some fresh air. Um, and it's just, I think it just makes us a little bit different. I mean, we've got some gardening scenery here and we have a bike store. So if you're into, you know, riding your bike, saving on some travel costs, that's great. See, we've got our bikes over there. And that's a second entrance into block B, but we're gonna be going into block A today. So we're just walking through there now, shouldn't take us too long. Hello, we've got an electrician there today. So that's another great thing at Birdie is that we do all the maintenance for you. Um, we have our own maintenance team and we do bring contractors in if there's any issues at all on site. So I'm going to just show you quickly the courtyard from the other side so you can see. So this is our courtyard. It is a bit of a car park today. So normally there's not so many cars in, but um, because we do have electricians on site today, we do have that. Um, so we're going into block A, which is just up here. Sorry if I'm squinting a bit, it is raining. Things I do, eh? Things I do. So um, yeah, we'll go into block A. We do have um, some safety precautions there as well because of the coronavirus, again, it's just more hand sanitizer and making sure when you're entering different parts of the buildings that you're keeping yourself safe. So this is block A, it's our second building. So just to give you a little brief tour of it, we've got some more hand sanitizer there and everything's signed as well. So you're pretty much never gonna get lost. I know when I first started here, I was a bit daunted of how big the building is, but because there's so many signs, you're always fine. See where we'll go to now. Um, I'll show you guys the gym, which is one of the things that make us a little bit different. There's not many accommodations with their own gym and our gym is really nice. So we'll go in there now. So put myself in. So this is our gym area. I'll turn you guys around. So here we are, there I am, hello. And this is the gym. So we do have state-of-the-art equipment in here, which is great, some of the different machines. And we do have the free weights over there as well. Just turn the light back on. So at the moment, our gym is closed due to the virus. I'm just gonna take a little seat while I talk to you guys. Um, yes, yeah, so the gym is closed at the minute due to the virus, but hopefully it'll be opening soon. Um, you don't need to book to use here, but we do need you to sign a safety waiver when you first join, if you're wanting to use the gym, but it's really handy. It means you're more likely to use the gym 
if it's here, you know. It's five minutes from your bedroom, which is pretty perfect. Um, you also have the full length mirror behind me there. So if you're into your, your bodybuilding, we've had a few bodybuilders here before, or if you're in competition prep, it's good because you can really see your form and what you're doing. So we'll just exit the gym here because I'm not sure if the signal's great in here. If you have any questions as well, remember you can type them in and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and the next space we're gonna go to is our common room. So this is one of my favorite spaces in the building because we do a lot of events and most of our events are hosted in our common room, which is just my favorite space. Um, so the common room is pretty big. It's set up a little bit differently to most places. So we've got like an upper level, which is where I am now. And we've got two lower levels, which I'll show you on the camera. I'll just turn you guys around. So this is the common room. So we've got some table spaces here where you can sit, you can do exam prep here as well, or you can just chill with your friends. We've had a few hot pot nights, which have been fun. We've got tables, a couple of settees here, and then we have a pool table over here. We also have an assortment of games at the back there, which are useful. And then if I walk you over here, you have the ping pong table here, table tennis. This is great because I don't think you can see it very well, but we have all this seating area, so it's like it's own little arena, pretty much. So. I know in the past we've had a few people who are really into ping pong and table tennis, so this is ideal. We do host competitions as well, so you could come to uni and actually become the greatest table tennis player in the world. What's not to love? Um, and then on this side, we have a football table. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. So here it is. Got the football table there. There's some storage space over here, a TV and a massive bean bag and some seats. So again, this comes in really handy when we're doing events and stuff like that because everyone seems to gravitate to the football table at the end of the night. It's a nice way to meet friends and maybe hang out with people who you wouldn't normally hang out with because there's such a wide range of people in this building. It's so lovely. Um, and what's extra in our common room is we have a cinema room. So it's gonna be a little bit dark for me to show you, but just through this curtain here is our cinema room. So I'll turn it around so you can have a little look. So this is the cinema room. These are the most comfiest chairs in the world. And you've got some little tables there and a massive TV. So this is great for chilling out with your friends having a cinema night, you can just lie down. It's just a lovely time, really. And again, this is really popular. Um, and we have a PlayStation in this room. So if you're a gamer, you've got a free PlayStation. It's not a, not a bad thing at all. And we have an assortment of games in reception, which you can use. And um, you just hire them out. So again, games night with your friends. It's just a lovely space. It's very relaxing as well, because it is darker in here, so. A nice little extra thing in Birdie that not a lot of accommodations have. So let me just check my notes. Oh, I'll just mention the events once more because we do host a lot of events. We aim to host around two per month, at least, like a little event. And then we'll do some big ones throughout the year as well. Um, for example, like a Halloween party. Um, like I said, we do table tennis competitions, cinema nights pick and mixers, different things like that. Just gives you an opportunity to meet people. And to be honest, I find them really fun. So it gives me an opportunity to host some events, which I love. And um, so next, we're actually gonna go up to the room so you can see one of our standard en suites. So we're going up to floor five. So I will be taking a lift, um, which I've got a feeling the connection isn't going to be great. So. If you don't mind just bearing with me, um, we might lose signal. To be a bit temperamental with the signal, but bearing with me, um, we might lose signal, but I will be back. Up on um, floor five now. Oh, apparently we're still waiting for the signal, so sorry if 
if it's not back on yet. I do apologise. I'll just wait for... Oh, you're back on. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> so we're on floor five now. This is kind of what all of our corridors are set out like. We are a weird shaped building. We're like a V shape. Um, v for Verdi. Um, but it does mean that you get a lot of distance between the rooms so they're not too loud on an evening. And we're going to flat 64 today to show you. Um, so let's have a little walk around. I think it's on this side. Sorry, you just see me walking through um, a lot of corridors. Yeah, 64 is over here. So yeah, I'm still following the signage myself. I'm not a pro at the Verdi life yet. So here we are. Um, I'm going to turn it around so you can see the doors of the shared flats. So these are a couple of our shared flats here. So you will have your own key to enter. This is the one we're going into today. So I'll just grab my key to get us in. Oh, two seconds. My hands are all fumbly. Oh. My key seems to not be working. Just give me one second. Just gonna pop you while I grab my key. There we go, sorry. Because I'm holding this, it was a bit difficult for me to grab the key. But here we are, so we're gonna go into the flat now. So it's a flat 64, as I said. When you come into the flat, most of them have a long corridor, so I'll turn this around so you can see. This is the corridor here. The first door, you have your kitchen and set shared space. We'll go on that in a little bit. And as you walk up the corridor, you have all the rooms here, here, and here. Um, most of the rooms in this space are a standard ensuite, but some rooms will have a premium and so on. So we've got the door open ready for you guys to see it. So this is our standard ensuite. So, are you ready? Because this is the bit you have been waiting for to see the room. So, hope you are, hope you are watching. So, as you enter the room here, you have a little shelf and some coat hangers there. It's a great. I mean, this is a little space here where you could put a shoe rack really if you wanted. As you walk in, you've got a full length mirror there as well, which is lovely. And right here, we have our heating system. So the heating here turns on automatically if the room is below 17 degrees, but you can manually heat up the room as well. And we've got a three quarter bed there and a bedside table. And we have under bed storage. So just under here, I'll turn the camera around again. Sorry, you'll be sick of seeing me, but we have this underbed storage. So these do open up and you've got plenty of room under there. It's pretty ideal for, you know, a suitcase or any extra bits that you want to hide to keep your room a bit tidier. Um, but space is really great in these rooms considering they're just, you know, the standard room. As I said, you've got a little table here, which I'll turn around so you can see. We've popped down a little magazine, you know, our favourite one in the office, Hello Magazine. Um, we've got a little lamp there, which doesn't come with the room, unfortunately. Um, but here's the bed with the window, the little plant is there. So this space at the bottom of the bed, again, we haven't got anything there, but again, that's ideal for, you know, a shoe rack, really. I know a lot of our tenants seem to have a lot of shoes, so... A shoe rack is pretty ideal to go there, so that's just something to keep in mind. I'll turn you around so you can see our desk. So here is the desk. So a great study space, really. Um, the desk comes with a desk chair, and you have little cupboards here, which are pretty spacious. Yeah. There's three of them. So that's quite handy to keep all your books and things like that. And then you do have a bookshelf here, which 
I mean, you can put on anything you like. I see lots of tenants decorate their room in different ways, but it's just a pretty ideal space for, you know, doing your own work, little bits and bobs. I think everyone needs a desk in their room, don't they? Let me just check my notes, see if there's anything else. Um, oh, we do have a USB plug under the desk. Let me see if I can crouch down to show you, but it might be a bit difficult. I'll turn it around so you can see. So we have all these plug sockets here. So you can just plug in a USB straight into that, which is ideal. And we do have Wi-Fi in the building, which is at 50 gigabytes, I think, for the speed. So pretty good. Um, it's all you really need, to be honest. And then if we come around here, we have a wardrobe, which I'll turn you around to see. So here is the wardrobe. I'm just step back a little bit so you can see. Um, there's nothing in here at the moment, but it is spacious. You can fit all your clothes in. There's a little upper storage section at the top. And we do have two little um, cupboards, drawers here as well, which open out. And they do open out quite wide. So that's quite handy. So yeah, this is kind of the standard on suite. I'll show you the back of next. I'm going to try and zoom up as much as I can so you guys can see. It is a great space. It's big, it's pretty, it's light. I mean, if I was a student, I'd love to live here. It makes me want to relive my youth and go back to uni. I'll show you guys the bathroom. So I've just propped the door open there, so I'll turn it around so you can see. So this is the bathroom. As you go in, you have the sink. We put some scales there so you could bring your own scales if you wanted. The toilet, a little towel rack, and the shower. It's quite hard for me to show you guys a shower, but I'm sure you know what a shower looks like. And then you have a mirror. So here I am, hello again. And we popped some little toiletries there, which of course you can bring your own. Um, so what's great in this bathroom is that the shower is actually got a glass screen. A lot of showers in accommodations tend to have um, fabric screens, the sheets, which aren't my favourite. So I think it's great that we actually have a fully working shower screen. Um, there's always hot water running. As I said, the heating as well, so you can always adjust that. Um, so I'll just close that door. And I think if I check, I think that's pretty much it to show you up the room. Um, I hope that was informative. I'm trying to see if there's any questions coming through, but I can't see any. So if there's anything you want to ask, pop it in. I'm sure I will try and answer all the U Homes representatives will try and help. Um, I'm going down the corridor now and I'll show you the kitchen and shared living space, um, which again is also lovely. So we'll turn the camera around so you can see. So this is the shared living room. So I'm just gonna pop the light on so you guys can have a little bit of a better look. So if I turn this out so you can see, it's very big, very good space. And this kind of differs depending on how many people are in your flat. So in this flat, I think it's about six rooms. So we do have two settees. We have a two-seater and a three-seater settee. I'll turn you around so you can have a little look. So here's the two settees. Perfect for chilling out. We have the two windows there. So again, lots of light and air into the room. We have a little desk here, which is great for hidden storage. So you don't really notice, but you can hide a few things under there. It's the same on the other side. I think that's really handy and clever. Um, just means you can keep the place a little bit tidier without having to worry <laughs> too much. Um, we also have a heating system here. It works the exact same as it does in the bedrooms. And we have a notice board where you can put all the event posters up that we supply you when we do our events. And then I'll just move back so you guys can see we have a little breakfast bar. So again, this has about six stools because there's six rooms, but if you're in a four bed flat, there'll be four stools, you know, you know how that works. So this is the breakfast bar. I think 
of all the cute little brunch dates you could have with your friends there. That's what I want to do. That would be a lovely time. Um, and then around the kitchen, we have a lot of storage space, so a lot of cupboards. And um, we do supply appliances. So I'll get my little notes just so I get this all right. So I don't forget anything. We have a standard microwave. So just a normal microwave, not a microwave oven. Because in the shared flat, you also have a conventional oven. And this is with a four ring hob. So I'll turn that around so you can have a little look. So here is the oven. And we have the microwave down there. You do get a toaster and you also get a kettle, which is over here. So again, pretty great set of essentials there. Um, we also do have a lot of cleaning appliances in the room. So we've got a cupboard here, which if you open, so in here we have an ironing board, an iron, a hoover, a dustpan and brush, a mop and bucket, um, a broom, you know, pretty much all the things you need. We do encourage our tenants to keep their own space tidy and clean. We don't clean the space for you unless there's a major issue, but you're adults, you need to learn these things. So it's great that we supply all the tools you need so that you can live your best adult life at uni. Um, I'll show you guys the fridge next, just so you can see that, because it's a big fridge. Definitely bigger than the one I have at my house. <laughs> so this is the fridge. Move back so you guys can see. And if I open up the doors, you'll see how much space there is. So this is the fridge. Again, we know there's, you know, a lot of you guys will be sharing with maybe four, five or six people. So there's enough space in there for you all to keep your food in, which is great. Um, and of course, if you have any specific requirements when booking your room, let us know and we will try our best to make sure you're in a suitable flat to fit them requirements. For example, you know, if you have dietary requirements, um, let us know and we can see if we have other tenants with similar dietary requirements and it might make it a bit easier for you all living in the same shared space. Um, pretty much any requests you have, you can let us know and we will try our best to, to do what we can to match that for you really. I mean, if you want to stay in an all female flat, an all male flat, a mixed flat, if you want to be with just first years, if you want to be with post grads, you let us know and we will try our best to, to do that for you, really. So that's the kitchen and shared space. Oh, we do have a TV, which I haven't mentioned, I don't think. Um, I'm just having a quick look at my notes. I think that's everything, really, in the kitchen. I'll turn you around so you can have another little quick overview. So here is the settee again, the TV. And as you turn around, you come to the breakfast bar kitchen space. There it is. You have a cupboard over there, which I mentioned for cleaning appliances. We've got fire safety things on the wall there. The building is great for protecting you guys if there ever was a fire. We have fire doors and we have a great fire plan in place, so that's nothing to worry about. And you've got the other setting again. And the window oh i can see i had my first question how many people is it for this flat is for six people but we have different flats with four people five people six people and we even have a couple of seven bed flats so let us know what your preference is i think it's kind of nice to be in a big flat because it means you have a little bit of a bigger space and you get to meet more people and that's kind of what uni is all about is getting that the culture of a new city and meeting such a variety of people that you know you make lifelong friends it's i'm jealous of you all going to uni i want to go to uni right i'm gonna turn these lights off and we're gonna head back to the lift so signal might not be great again i'm sorry so out we go god it's nerve-wracking being on this camera i'm worried that i'm gonna forget something <laughs> So there we go, we'll close that door. So I said again, a fire door, so we were safe. 
I know that's probably boring information for you all, but I think it's important. So we'll just walk through the corridor. I'll turn you around so you can see. So this is the corridor. And we're gonna take the lift to the ground floor, because then we're gonna go into block B to show you block B. So the signal might go, so just bear with me. When I get to the ground floor, I'll hang on a little bit before talking again. See you soon. Message to know that I'm back on your screens and you can see me, that would be appreciated. Just hanging on. Watch me, I've said that and nobody send a message. I'm back, yay, okay. So we're back in the bottom of block A. So we are gonna go to block B, but first I thought I'd quickly show you our post boxes. So we have post boxes here. So for the shared flats, you will all have a key in which you will open your post and the postman comes every day and fills that with all your letters. So that's easy for you to keep track of. We also have a lot of notice boards here, so I'll turn this around again so you can see that. There's our notice board, so this is where events will be on. We've also got all of our staff here. So we're all on there, so you can have a little look. We have our social rep over there. At the minute she's a little bit hidden by our hand sanitizer machine, but we do have normally two social reps on site, so if you have any problems, you can go to them if you feel more comfortable, and they tend to help host the events as well, um, which is always great. Um, so I'll just grab my clipboard. Oh, and quickly before we go, we do have a disabled toilet here on the ground floor. We do have two in each block, and we also do have accessible rooms if that's required. Again, just let us know. And we're gonna go back outside and embrace the rain. Welcome to Newcastle. Okay, so we're outside. Sorry if it's a bit blurry at all with the rain. So we're back in the courtyard. So it is, it's a nice area. It's nice and light. I know the signal isn't great out here. So again, I'm sorry um, if we lose connection. I'll try my best. I'm hoping I'm still on screen, but I'm not sure if I mentioned there is seating that in all I've really got left to show you. I'll sit down while I tell you. Um, this one's not wet. So all we've really left to show is the laundry room. So we'll go there, have a little look. Um, we'll have a look at the laundry. Oh, I've seen the signals gone, so I'm hoping I haven't been gone too long. Um, we'll go have a look at the laundry room and then we might come back out here and then if there's any questions, I can try my best to answer. Um, let's have a look at my notes. Is there anywhere else we need to go? No, that's kind of all we have to show you. I'll go through prices and stuff at the end as well, of course. So let's go into block B. It's pretty much set up the exact same as block A. We just have two buildings so that we can fit all of you in. <laughs> so again, in block B, you have more post. So I'll turn that round so you can see. Here we are. And then as you go further in, we do have the lifts again that lead you up to the higher floors. We do have stairs as well, which of course you can use if you're trying to be a bit healthier. I'm just not trying to be that healthy today. Um, and we go from here and we'll go to the laundry room. So this is another little corridor. And as you go to the laundry room, you do pass the bin store. So the bin store's just here. Go. So we actually have two bin stores, we have one in block A and one in block B, um, these are both on the ground floor and again the full building sign posted so it's dead easy to find your way around and we will walk over this way, I'm not going to show you the bin stores, I don't think you just want to have a little look at bins today, but we'll go to the laundry room so it just buzz us in, oh, you didn't work that time, there we are, so the lights are off so we'll just wait for them to come on. Let's take these into a dark room. There we go. Okay, so this is our laundry room. I'll hold these up a little bit higher so you guys can see. It's quite a good space again. Um, this is actually a pretty big laundry room compared to a lot of the other ones in accommodations in Newcastle, which is great. 
Um, pretty much all of the accommodations I know of use the same system for their laundry. So they all tend to use an app called Circuit. Um, so we have a little instruction manual thing here for you to look at. Here you go, we've got lots of <laughs> conditioner there. Um, so basically, all you need to do is download an app to use the laundry system and you do pay to use the um, to use the washer and to use the dryer. The prices change but roughly they're about £3 for a wash and about £1.50 for a dry. At the moment it's super cheap because of the coronavirus so we have put all the prices down just to help our tenants out a little bit. Um, what's also great is that the app does show you when the room is free. So if all the machines are in use, it will tell you and then it will notify you when it, the machine is free, which is perfect, means you're not wasting any time. Um, again, we try to normally put posters up at the moment. They are coronavirus um, posters, but normally there'd be a bed and posters on in here. We've got the dryers over here and the washers over here. So we've got a bit of a runny nose as well as um, being outside in the rain, isn't it? Um, okay, so that's kind of all I really can show you for the laundry room. I'm gonna walk back through reception, maybe say hello to some of the staff. I'm not sure how happy they'll be about that, but you know, well, if I'm on camera, they're gonna be on camera. So we're gonna go into the staff room. So this is our staff room, so we'll have a brief little hello to the staff and then we'll go outside for any questions and to go through the prices. Oh, hard at work, aren't you all? So here we are, oh, there's the maintenance man, Paul. He'll fix any issues you have in the building and we've got Claire over there, a personal favourite employee of mine. Um, she's just hard at work, helping you all book rooms, hopefully. So we'll go back out here. And we'll go sit down on that nice little bench where I can go through the um, prices for you guys. Unfortunately, I've just seen a question pop up about studio. Unfortunately, I don't have a studio to show you today. Um, this is because at the moment, all of our studios are actually booked. They sold out really quickly. Um, this could change and if it does you'll be notified or just keep an eye out on our website because it'll all update on there but yeah i'm sorry at the moment we don't have a studio to show you today i'm sorry but if you liked our standard ensuite rooms you'll love if i went missing for a second i'm back our 51 week contracts are 140 pound per week so that works out at £7,032 altogether. Um, if you decide to pay in full, there is a slight discount, about a 10% discount, I think it is. Um, so if you, if you wanted to save a little bit of money, we do recommend paying in full that way. Or if you're interested in a 44 week contract, so a little bit shorter, that one is £145 per week. Um, again, that one works out at £6,284. Um, so it works out, it's a bit more expensive per week, but overall it's cheaper because obviously it's a shorter time span. Um, it's just a bit more expensive because it's harder for us to fill the rooms um, on a 44-week contract because um, you all leave in summer and we still have a building where we, we get lonely. We want you all to stay for 51 weeks if possible. So at the moment, we do have both 51 weeks and 44 week contracts available. So again, any questions on that, you can ask your U Homes representative or you can give us a call at Birdie or an email um, and we can try and help. If you want to speak to me personally, my name's Emily and I will try my best to help you guys. Um, and I think that's everything I have to show you today. I feel like this has been a little bit short and sweet, so I'm sorry. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, a lot of our rooms have sold out. So the main thing we have on sale is the standard en suite. But again, that was lovely. So if you liked the standard en suite and a studio does come available, you will definitely like the studio. It's just as good as the standard en suite. Um, 
so yeah has anybody got any questions if you do just pop them on your little screen you can type a message and I can try and help or as I said the U Homes representatives will help um, when was the building built oh oh no you've caught me here we're five years old I'm pretty sure so this wasn't built long ago I think that's 2015 um, because we actually have two buildings we have another accommodation but our other accommodation is primarily for first year students and that one's just about five minutes down the road as well so it's a nice little community of down in students in this area and um, so yeah it's a it's pretty new and I think when you see the decor of the building that's reflected in that the rooms are really nice any Chinese supermarkets nearby yes oh my god there's the most lovely Haiyu supermarket probably like five minutes away I personally love Haiyu and it must be a big chain but oh my god this is the first time I knew about it when I started this job and it's my favorite um, you just have the best Chinese snacks oh my goodness the little biscuits with the faces on they made like coconut cream they're so good yes it's a big supermarket um, so most of our tenants do shop in there we also have a Tesco right next door and I mean right next door so Tesco is about a minute walk away so anything you need quickly you can grab from there you know your milk um, bread stuff like that dead easy um, but we're not far from the center so it's pretty easy to get everywhere and anywhere get everything you need we're right near Eldon Square which if you're not from Newcastle you won't know but Eldon Square is like a big kind of shopping station in Newcastle so it's kind of where everyone goes to do their shopping it's where everyone goes to go out for food it's where everyone goes out to go out for drinks it's kind of like the life in the buzz of the city and we're five minutes away so such a great location I, honestly the student life these days is so great like why am I not a student I'd love this life <laughs> but um yeah and we are all all the staff here we're all from the area so we can give you a like that um so any questions you know you you can always pop down and ask us I personally know all the best pizza restaurants we do have a really good Chinese restaurant called oh, what is it called Yi Luan or something like that it's really really nice um, and a lot of our tenants say it's amazing so again that's probably about five minute walk everything's about a five minute walk so you don't need any types of um, transport I think that might be it guys so if you've got any burning questions put them in now because I'm gonna go and do my do my work how many present Chinese students every year okay so we have a mix um, I've only been here I've not even been here a year yet I've only been working here just under a year so I'm not sure what it's been like in other years but this year we've had a lot of international students and I'd say a lot of them are Chinese students um, I think a lot of um, our Chinese residents have recommended this building to their to their friends from home which is why we have such a large intake of international students um, I'd say it's, it is heavily international students which is great it means that we get to learn as well so much more about cultures and different things and god you guys are so polite it's so lovely um, I'd say our other building is more first year British students normally because um, they tend to book through the university um, but here we do have a lot of first year British students as well just probably not as many as we do with the um, with the Chinese students and international students that we have um, um, from our bookings I think we do have again a lot of international students so if you're worried about language barriers and things like that nothing to worry about you can come teach me some different languages that would be great I need to expand my knowledge that would be lovely um, yeah okay I think that's everything um, I hope you all have a lovely evening it's only it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning here yet so we've still got a long day but guess what I'm off work tomorrow so I'm very excited I'm gonna be going for 
food in Newcastle. And if you come to Newcastle, you'll be able to come for food here too, because there's so many nice places. Um, any questions, again, get in touch with your U Homes representative. We've worked with them for ages. They're a great company. Um, or get in touch with us directly and we can see what we can do. Lovely talking to you all. I hope it was somewhat informative. Um, and maybe we'll do this again sometime. Bye.